Hey guys, welcome to a kind of impromptu version of what's formerly known as Let's Dish with Webster Left Daily and She Got Soups. I told y'all we gotta come up with another name. So we need y'all help. So make sure y'all send us y'all ideas and let us know what y'all think would be a good fit for both of us. Hey, come on in. Hope y'all got y'all drinks because we missed yesterday. And we still got a lot of shit to catch up on. So if y'all got some topics that y'all do want to discuss, put them in the comments so we can make sure that we cover them. How was y'all weekend? Hope y'all weekend was good. My weekend was good. Hi, Red Lips and Tips. <laughs> so we waiting on Kay. Waiting on her to join. What's up, Nebraska? How y'all doing? I'm literally feeling like Mickey today. Mondays make me... Mm. I'm risking getting written up at work for this one. Fuck it, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Please don't get written up. Hey, boo. London loves 21. But Amber Nicole 310, I'm glad that y'all could tune in. I know... I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. It's like in the 90s here in Arizona. You remember last year I was telling y'all like it was hot as fuck that my bottom of my shoe melted and shit. Hey, Mook. Let's talk about these women always expecting men to bring more to the table than they bring. They want to bring bills and the men bring money. Cause it's a new, it's a new type of woman now, right? That's being built. You got the woman who's doing, that's on her shit, and then you got the woman who's like the city girls, right? But y'all love the city girls, don't y'all? Mm. I'm drinking um, white Zinfandel. Rum punch time. Oh, that sound good. Please send me a bottle. Please and thank you. I got job security. I'm packing my shit up. <laughs> Uh, whatever you gotta do, as long as you don't get fired. So we just waiting. So what other topics y'all got? Did y'all watch the video, the interview about Wendy Williams' husband and his alleged lover, his other lover? I watched it. We gonna talk about it. It was a lot. It was a whole lot. Hey, K Blispo. Oh, honey, we're going to play a couple of clips because it's a lot. So I know we're talking about Jesse and there was like a, uh, somebody was like secretly recording him. And hold on, y'all, K te uh, texting me. Okay, so somebody was secretly recording him saying like he got off. So we got the clip and we, we want y'all to hear it and tell us what you think. It was a whole hot ass mess. I was just like, and for his wife to be sitting there while he's saying this, I'm just like, girl. Okay, Boo is here. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Hi, uh, Did you fuck that pickle up? Or Girl, no, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it on live because I do not care. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I was telling them that we still need to come up with another name and that yeah. we need their help to I was okay. gonna say something, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm oh, gonna shit. be nice. Oh, okay. What should I do? They don't fucking participate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck asses. Anyway, goddamn it. Um, okay, wait. Before we start, I really just want to give some health awareness. Uh -huh. Um, everybody needs to stop wearing like regular deodorant, FSA antiperspirant. Stop wearing it. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know why, but remember with Monique. Um, I'm such a whore. Um, remember when Monique said, you know, that she stopped wearing, you know, antiperspirant because. You know, it causes cancer. There's certain things in it that causes cancer. Yeah. That shit good. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I took her advice. I don't know why. 
There was so many people that said to me. <laughs> Your cousin. So, hey, Leona. <laughs> what she say? She said musty goats. Bitch, let me tell you, I was until. <laughs> so I took um. <laughs> I'm gonna fight Leona when I get to her. But um, I what was it? I took her advice and I went. And I just ordered the. This is salt. Okay. And I literally, let me tell y'all something. If you ain't never smelled a musty goat, bitch, that's what I used to smell like. But now, what <laughs> now, bitch? It's worth it. Is my is my camera not focusing? It's no, it's going in now. It's focused now though. Okay. But yeah, no, this shit right here, like literally, you put water on it and then you just put it under mm -hmm. your underarms. But when I tell you, I have really, what, how, I don't know how to say, I don't know how to say it, but I, um, my odor is really strong, I guess. <laughs> I just to say it. Like, I have a really strong, I don't know. Like, you, you just sweat a lot? You, you sweat? No, I don't even sweat a lot. It's just that, I, I guess, like, my body chemistry and deodorant just doesn't mix. Got you. Okay. Um, but... Oh, wait, take a lime and use it, must it. Yeah, no, anyways. So this shit right here, I didn't think it was going to work. Mm -hmm. I did not think it was going to work. Literally, I smell like nothing. Like, I smell mm. like any fragrance that I put on, literally. Okay. And I used to have to, like, because my skin is so sensitive, mm -hmm. I used to have to, like, exfoliate and then be able to wash. Because my skin is like, bitch, if you exfoliate, we're going to bump up. We don't give a fuck about nothing that you say, ho. So I used to have to explain that I don't even have to exfoliate no more. I get in the shower, I do my rag thing, bitch. And you should be using three rags with your nasty ass. One yes. rag reach your bitch. You bitches are nasty, okay? Um, <laughs> so long story short, get you one of these. When I tell you, if you have deodorant issues, don't. When I tell you this works, and it's going to take about a week, bitch. It's not going to be instant. Uh -huh. uh, but before I even got this, I went all natural. Like, I had just that natural deodorant because I need something to smell. Uh -huh. Now, I don't even need. Like, this is, it's, it's the shit. Literally, it was so hot today. I was like, bitch, I know I stink. Like, I, bitch. And I was looking at my arm. I was like, bitch, you smell like nothing, huh? You smell like perfume, bitch. Like, that's what you smell like. Because I'm going to keep it on this morning. Yeah. It, it really works. <laughs> so, if y'all want to keep y'all titties, um... Y'all don't want to die. Get you some salt. There we go. All right. So what was she talking about? She said, "Don't one rag it like Young Miami." <laughs> That's no, why she got a one rag, rag Risha. <laughs> one rag Risha. So, um, well, I was just going over some of the topics we were going to talk about. Nobody really had any topics to put at the bottom. Um, um that's going to be a topic. You better hope that nobody screenshot that bitch. I said dick beside her. <laughs> <laughs> Harriet, bitch. Um, yeah, it's a salt, it's a salt rock. It's my crystal. I got it off of Amazon. It's eight dollars. Oh. But it lasts forever. It's really, it's really worth it. Nice. Save your titties, save your life, stop using the antiperspirant, period. Seriously, you guys. Y'all support us, but we love y'all. Um <laughs> <laughs> they asked, "Did we see Wendy Williams' face today?" I definitely saw Wendy's face today. Um, what how do you mean, like she, how, uh, car? how she looked when she got out that car? It was it, to me, it looked like it was a look of excitement. Like she was, she, she, she was loving it. She was like, "Oh yeah, did Jim? He's still here." That's what you think? That's what she, that's how she was looking when she got out the car. Like she was yeah. really like, mm. you know what I'm saying? But do you think that she? Because they said that they, okay, so from the beginning, um. Let's talk about the boy toy. So, this boy named Arion, what's his name? Avion. Avion. And I was like, he named himself after the liquor. But that might be his real name. I don't know. Yeah. He um, went on Tasha K. Spilled all types of tea. Um, Too much. Right. It was. Some of that shit was unnecessary. It was it was very graphic, and like I feel like he probably was exaggerating about some of the stuff. Because did you notice how he kept fumbling? He kept trying to go back and change it up a little bit, and kept trying to go back. And I was wondering, like, 
you think, you think, do you think that he's lying? I don't think that he's lying. I think that he elaborated on some parts of the story because of he would say something and then he'd be like, okay, wait. And then he would have to, I think he would have to think about it because now he has a lawsuit. So he's probably trying to make sure that everything that he said in that interview aligned with what was in the lawsuit. Because that whoever they def his defense attorney is going to be, they're going to pull that interview Correct. and they're going to be cross-referencing. You know what I'm saying? Correct. So I feel Correct. like he was going back and forth trying to... So... <laughs> So this guy no, he used kept on like used. He said he, he said he came there and he raped me. Listen, listen, listen. What was My thing is, he <laughs> he said what? He was twenty five when this happened, right? Thanks, Gigi. He said this happened. He said this shit happened last year. Last year, okay. He said he was twenty six now. He's twenty. Okay, so yes. My thing is, then he said that he confided in him. Look, it's just a lot. I felt like I was being held hostage the whole time i um i was very uncomfortable in my own work area mm -hmm. listening to this shit 15 minutes in i was like i want to turn this off it was this much. is the first 15 minutes <laughs> i was drained y'all and like literally i was working out while i was watching it and when i tell you that made me more tired than the workout i was just like what so if you want to do you have a clip that you can play like just, I mean, just I, a little clip because it's too it's so basically I, I mean, he, I'm, he's, he's saying that he was promised a music career correct from wendy williams husband but it turned into him being his boy toy bottom dancer whatever you want to call it he, it's, he's, he turned into that and he said that he was abused and humiliated and belittled and all of this stuff. Well, I don't feel like I'm Um, yes. And I, but didn't you say that if he didn't, if this didn't happen, like if he was fine, like it wouldn't, he wouldn't. I feel like have it wouldn't have to, going. Hold yes, on. because. Avion is his name. Okay, yes. hold on. I mean, every time a nigga starts singing, I just turn it. I, I just. Fast forward, nigga. Don't nobody for her for for Tasha to say that she, he sounds better than Brian McKnight. I said, but you you disrespectful, super disrespectful. You a disrespectful ass bitch. He's an impersonator, like you know how on um, Hollywood Boulevard they got the Michael Jacksons and the people that be dressed That's up what he and is? like a superhero. Yeah, he probably was down there. <laughs> Hold on, um, I'm gonna play for y'all real quick. Hold on. Cool. Oh, yeah, that one. Mm. I'm going to play this shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I got a poor little fun on that one. Nigga three. Wait, but I always be nigga over at the house. Nigga, I'm just from here. You know, so, and I, and I used to stay in the condo in Florida, New Jersey. He came back, pulled back the covers. Now, mind you, I just did the number two. I just didn't, but he didn't care about that. He ate me. He spit in, he spit in me, and then put his dick in. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. He, he, he went in and he came in less than 30 seconds. And, and while he was stroking, he was like, yeah, nigga, this is brown pills, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, because you have to understand, when two men have sex, it's always an adrenaline rush. I know that. When two menly men, a lot of women around the world, they, they would have no idea how many men she don't know of the men. And that's uh, true. Especially men who work out. And a lot of men who pretend like they're pretend like they're straight, they're really not. They 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 it's a hormonal thing really. Because I love women. I, lo I love my wife. Okay, because I was, I was, I was gonna say because we you know? we have uh, who believes that he like women? I do let a man fuck him in the ass. He let him. He <laughs> I'm looking for some. <laughs> I'm looking for some. Okay. He let him. Put his dick in him. Yes. You let that happen to you. Yes. Because Kevin, Multiple so, times. You know, sometimes Kevin looks big, but then sometimes he looks small. So, I don't know. Here we go. Avion's wife here, who goes by the name Quasi. Um, you guys actually are newlyweds. Yes. Um, and so you you know the full story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She okay. was there when it, when it first happened. I was telling her, she, she, she told me, she... 
Because, you know, when you have a sex with you, you have a sex with your woman, you always spend time with her. They can tell whether you gay or not. No, they can tell. I don't know. You gotta do something for the family, man. Sometimes you just gotta do this. Now, when you say doing this, because I know we, I asked you about the first time you guys had an actual sexual encounter, how that came to be. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about the allegations involving right. Charlemagne yeah. that reappeared. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, but we already know what happened with Charlemagne and mm -hmm. the, the rape kids and things like that. But he also said that Kevin told him that Charlemagne had a whole bunch of dildos in his house. Yeah. That he would use on himself. I don't know how Kevin would know that. Anybody know? Okay. Me. Of him um, raping, supposedly raping uh, Jessica Reed. Right. Okay. Totally okay. Um, the people. You don't, you don't understand. So you have beef with women know. too. I can't take this lightly. Because, okay. because when you when you when you I'm already in my soul, I'm already revealing myself to the world. So it's a very passionate thing to go through something so devastating and having to put it on air. Because Kevin is a devil. I wrote a song about it. It's called it's called I almost lost my soul. I was really, really low. I almost got my name put on the page. That's a long ass title. He said it's called I almost lost my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Totally agree. So basically, guys, he said that that he wrote him checks to check and they bounced. So oh, how much? Ooh, what was it? It was, it was five thousand. Yes. Okay. And they both bounced. That's how much. Okay. But he. So I. What I think happened is he wrote the check so he could sign the paperwork. Mm-hmm. Knowing that he didn't have the money. Kevin has money, obviously. Mm -hmm. Don't be understand. He has money. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, but he, but he I, went on and on and on. I'm going to play this one part, though. I got to go to the second one. A bitch. I said, uh-uh. Hold on. Hold on. I, it was just a lot. Like, the first 15 minutes, I was like, okay. I don't want to do this. This yeah. is not cool. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable. Uh -huh. um, hold on. Hold on. You know, to to meet someone like him, right? Just, Run equal. That's what I'm saying. Make yourself look good. You know, you take it because you're like, this is my big chance. It's because you come from. I come from a, a one arrived in Georgia. Who knows about one arrived in Georgia? You know, and then when you go to New York, you, you, you someone like him. <laughs> take advantage of it. You know, you're gonna go through it. Yeah, like you're from Tennessee. This is my only chance. You know, and just. My father too. My, all my life, my father would tell me that, you, that I wasn't good enough for for a relationship period with anybody, especially a female. If it was, uh, when it when it concerned a female, because of how I was born, you know. So it made it very difficult for me to just love me. You know, my mom, my grandmother, they tried to instill it, but they didn't really know how to approach it. You know, when I got with my wife, that's when I realized who I was. And, uh, and so this is a very different avion. Very different. Because I mean, a lot of people were saying like you were laughing and you were just like, you didn't seem as if you took it serious, but they believed you. They thought your story was genuine. Yeah. And so um, from what I saw, it was just kind of like, I don't, I don't give, that's you, what I saw. I didn't. That's how I put it. Look, you take any man in a, a shame of he. A lot of people don't even bring this to the altar in church. No, what you think of me? I'm telling you, I was listening to the, the show being replayed on Claudia Jordan's morning show, and I believe it, it was, was everywhere. Oh, wow. in Dallas, and they were just like, "Oh, I mean, you, you would be just shocked at the overwhelming response that you right. that you got." Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna address your because we have this white man quake. This oh, no. by Jessica Reed. Okay. okay. Um, I want to know: Have you gotten any feedback or any? If she was never going to divorce him, nobody would never know this. You know that. I'm she trying to tell. Got a morning show. Today has a. Yeah, she's in Dallas. She's a piece of shit, though. Well, I, we already went there. Uh, oh, about what? About the rape allegations. About, about the rape allegations. Yes, about him setting it up, about him trying to defame his character. Hi, Mommy. He's, he's I'm on my YouTube. Hi, Mommy. 
Um, uh, Jessica reached out to me. Um, I, I, I was oh, woman here. I'm trying to get to the part to where he talks about what he was born with. Oh, oh. I don't know if she liked it. I think that's in part one. <laughs> no, he goes into it more. Oh, okay. And um, I basically responded back and, and dropped her my number, like Jessica Hardy. Um, and he's right. There was no DNA evidence. We were represented by the length, by the same law firm. Okay. Yeah, facts. And that's the they reason why nobody was at the end. It's because everything was set in stone. Why would Kevin hold this type of grudge? That is a Why? very serious question. And when you violate a man's woman. Yeah. Charlamagne was living in the condo. Charlamagne used to keep these dildos in the phone. <laughs> you know, but that's the only thing I know. But maybe he, I don't know. And like I said, this, this, I came, this information came from a female that day. She said that this is what he liked. I wasn't there. This is all allegedly. I wouldn't <laughs> stick my fingers up nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just will be afraid of what's going to come out on me. Mm. You know, that's hepatitis, all kind of shit. That mm. I don't want that. But, um... <laughs> you forget to sing your eyes. That's how you think of Then what we, we know here. But like I said, I told you, I said I had a strong inkling. And I, my sources have always been 1,000%. And there was a phone left open that... That was Wendy Williams' phone, and Kelvin found the messages between so Charlamagne name is Kelvin. and Wendy. Yeah. And he cut that shit off. And that's why when Wendy is asked about Charlamagne now, she because Charlamagne she speak who, because that is mm -hmm. like a blow to Kevin's manhood. Wow. So, that's why he kept everybody there. I mean, if we can't find him, we just gonna tell him. He's from South Carolina. Mm. Yeah, he went to school. Sure. Oh, they don't know themselves. Because women, y'all give us our egos. Oh, oh, it's so big. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, so we take That's that. That's how he was when Kelvin came to the show. He was like, ooh, he's so big. I mean, don't feel this way. I can't find it. Long story short, he says that he was born with hypospadias. Yeah. Hypospadias. Which hey, is. He said he was, he was, uh, what, I always pronounce this wrong. What? Her, uh, hermaphrodite? It is, it's, but it's not quite a hermaphrodite because hermaphrodite has both, like mm -hmm. literally, like a whole penis and then a vagina, a whole like. But so it's a form it. of it. Oh, okay. It's a form of it, but what it looks like is literally. So say you have a penis. Say you have a penis, right? Uh huh. It's the penis, but then it's like here, it like opens up like a vagina. That's what it, that's what it looks like. And so huh. what he was saying is he used to take the wet night, I guess in the mornings when he's horny, he would take the wetness from his vagina, it will form and put it on his wife so he could slide inside. I said, well, wait, wait a minute, nigga. <laughs> my, my thing is if your vagina can produce liquid or lubrication, you have a pussy and you need to be checked just like every other woman. Uh, they might go and get pap smears together. They better. Because he was like, yeah, you know, sometimes it gets, you know, because it's, it's soda. The the vagina part, where the lips are, is soda. Okay. So, but sometimes it comes like unstone, and sometimes like he says pee gets in it. And y'all know if you piss, if a woman piss, and you don't wipe yourself correctly, like shit just goes haywire, bitch. And it's, it's different and it's not cool. So I'm hoping that he's like at least getting inside of there with a little rag or a tooth. Or a or, I don't know. Just... Some, something. Because if you're able to, to form lubrication, you got to put Period. And, and for the, your wife's sake. Wait, and the fact that you have to put that on for her? Like... Because, you know, sometimes in the morning, well, it's not me. But sometimes, I guess, when you, I don't know. But, you know, you're not horny in the morning, women. Guys are more horny in, in the morning than women. Mm -hmm. So that's what he was saying. That so shit. you're getting the best of both worlds, huh? And he just not, I don't think he's being fucked in it, though. Because I don't think it's like an actual hole. Like, a hermaphrodite has an actual hole. He just has, like, the opening. If you, if you Google it, you will see what I'm talking about. Shit's crazy, man. Oh. And it's like 20,000 cases per year. In the really? U.S., people born like this, yes. So, 
That's why I look bald, because I don't fuck with that shit. You, uh-uh. <laughs> Bitch, you better join. <laughs> you pour it in. Girl, pour that, girl. All of it. All right, girl. What's that, pink Moscato? Uh, why is this now? Oh, it's cute. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I, I was not. I, but, right. <clears throat> well, so different. They said I'm sorry. Um, um, we're talking about Kelvin Williams, Wendy Williams, so to the ex husband and his um, boy toy. She crazy, man. So, that's what we're talking about. Black China. What do we want to talk about Black China? Oh, yeah. She's being rent. sued. Um, for over fifty thousand dollars in unpaid rent, apparently she signed a lease to stay in a home until March of twenty eighteen, and she left. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, twenty nineteen, and she left in November of twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. So they're suing her. She got her own house, right? Now I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, but they they want their money. They said that some of the uh, that she took the fixtures, the light fixtures, and other yep. fixtures from around the house. Yo, <laughs> bitch, you know how we do, no. <laughs> And they also noted, for whatever reason in the story, that um, they're not saying that that was court arranged, but that um, Rob was paying her $20,000 a month for Dream. And Mm. when they went to court, the judge told him to stop paying and gave them both full custody. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people were still like, you know, saying like, oh, she does have child support, blah, blah, blah. But damn. No. They both, okay. um, what? Oh, from China. From China. <laughs> People be mad. No, but, um, they both said that they have, they have, they both announced that they have custody of her. So I don't understand why people are still arguing about it. What does Rob do? That's a good question. Sell stocks? Be such a punch back? I mean, probably got some investments out here, you know? I hope so. I would think. Because we all know he was not. Paying that twenty thousand, we all know that his mother was clearly paying. The crypt keeper was sending that money from the grave. They spent her stuff was paying. <laughs> um, but what else? Oh, we just seen some cute pictures of Dream and King. Yeah, she took some so pretty, cute. really cute um Easter pictures with them, and she actually just made a post um, a few hours ago saying that she's trying to grow. And she's trying to basically, I guess, separate Black China from Angela. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Angela. So now that she's 30, she's trying to grow up. So I, I, I definitely commend her. You know, maybe she's going to start going by Angela now. Maybe she's going to do away with Black China. Kim, Kim, wait, Kim Kardashian's got to be a lawyer. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> so I... For, for Easter, mm-hmm. um, I went to my student at family's house, and they watched Homecoming, Beyonce's mm-hmm. Homecoming. And, I mean, it was a, it was literally the Coachella performance with behind the scenes. Gotcha. Um, and they edited the two concerts, you know, the first day and the second day together, the pink and the, and the yellow. Mm-hmm. Um, and literally, everything that I've seen was already on the internet. We've seen um, Blue Thing. We've seen the twins. So I didn't really need to watch it, but I was I was like, okay. The what I the only thing I learned uh-huh. is that she had some plus size dancers and they were getting down, bitch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> getting the fuck down. Um, but I mean, you know, go support. I I've never went you did you go to H B C U? Yes, Clark Atlanta. You did? Mm-hmm. Did you um did you feel like oh you haven't watched it yet, but you watched Coachella, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Did you feel like you was at home? I did because the band, the band is always like when we used to go to the football games. It was really for the band. You know what I'm saying? Because the band would always tear it up. And then I went to my first battle of the bands out there, and it was like different, um, different colleges and stuff coming. And man, that shit was. It's it's a whole different experience. A whole different experience. And I definitely recommend that y'all send y'all kids to an HBCU. Yeah, my kids are going though. They're going to be homeschooled, and then they're going to be able to go to the HBC. We're not doing nothing else in this month. Mm-hmm. All right, um, let's go to your page. It's been 30 minutes. Okay. All right. Everybody else going to, she got, hopefully y'all follow me. If you're not, yeah, you'll follow. Bye. <laughs>